In this tutorial, I'm going to help you fix Microsoft Outlook from not loading, specifically with this issue that tells you that one of your data files needs to close and that uh, you might be able to fix this problem running the repair tool. Uh, there's several ways to fix this. I'm going to show you the first way. So what you do is you go over to your main Windows drive and then you want to go to Program Files 86 you want to look for Microsoft Office. I have Office 2016, so I'm going to use the Office 16 folder. Actually, what you want to do is you want to search here and just type in .exe. And it's going to give you all the executable programs. You want to find the one that says scan PST. It should already show a PST by default. If not, you could go to Browse. And then you want to go to your Windows Drive again. So C Drive. Then you go over to Users. Find your user. You want to go to App Data. In order for this folder to show, you need to go over to any folder here and go to View. And click on Hidden Items and then you could refresh and then app data should show go to local and then you go over to Microsoft and then Outlook and right here is your data file so you're looking for the most recent one which is today's date go ahead and click open and click on start if your data file is big, it's going to take some time, but once it does, you're going to get prompted with this screen here. You press OK. And then generally, you will get another option to repair your data file. So if that doesn't fix the problem, then what you need to do is you need to go to your registry and go to Reg Edit. And I was reading a little bit about this problem, and it looks like this happens mostly in office 365 2016 so what you want to do is you want to expand H key current user go to software go to Microsoft go to office 16 go to Outlook and then you want to click on the PSD folder so to fix this problem too, you need to delete these entries here, the one that says last corrupt store and prompt repair. So all you do is right click delete and then right click and delete. You don't need to restart your computer, you basically close your registry and try to open Outlook again. And that should allow you to connect to your exchange server or however you got your Microsoft Outlook set up and it should get rid of that pro uh, problem that you have. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any issues, questions, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel.